today I'm going to be informing you guys about gun control laws in Ohio. Uh, I'll be covering laws on purchasing, possessing, and carrying of firearms, but before that I want you guys to know that in the Constitution, the Second Amendment states the right of the people to keep and bear arms. This means you all have a right to own a firearm and you have a right to use it if your life is in danger. First of all, there are a few, there's a few laws for purchasing, purchasing weapons in Ohio. A person must be 21 or older to purchase a handgun or any gun with a pistol grip. Uh, if purchasing a rifle or a shotgun, you must be 18 years old. And when buying ammo for a rifle that fires handgun ammunition like 357 or 38 or any handgun ammunition that goes into your rifle for hunting, you have to take your receipt for that rifle that you purchased and show it to the cashier that you're buying ammunition from in order to buy the ammo because if not, they'll think that you're purchasing handgun ammo, which is illegal if you're not 21 or older. Uh, according to the NRA and the ILA, which is the National Rifle Association, and the Institute for Legislative Action, it is unlawful to recklessly sell, lend, give, or furnish any firearm to any person who may not possess a firearm or who is under the influence of alcohol or any drug of abuse. Um, so don't do any of those if you want to purchase a firearm. And no permit is required to purchase a firearm, you just go there, but there is an extensive background check when purchasing a weapon. I actually just purchased a 357 lever action Liberty rifle this past Saturday or Sunday, and I took a really extensive background check and I got delayed because they're searching into me. It's, it goes directly to the FBI, they call them down in Maryland, and they just look into you and I don't know, hopefully I won't be denied the gun, but I don't know yet. I'm hoping to pick it up actually tomorrow. So. But secondly, there are also several laws about possessing a weapon in Ohio. The NRA and the ILA, again, state no person shall knowingly acquire, have, carry, or use any firearm or dangerous ordinance if they are a fugitive from justice, under indictment for or has been convicted of any felony offense of violence, under indictment for or has been convicted of any felony offense involving the illegal possession, use, sale, administration, distribution, trafficking, in any drug of abuse, uh, if the person is drug dependent, in danger of drug dependence, or a chronic alcoholic, they are not allowed to uh, require, have, carry, or use any firearm. And if the person is under adjudication of mental incompetence, has been adjudicated as a mental defective, has been committed to a mental institution, has been found by a court to be a mentally ill person subject to hospitalization by a court order or is an involuntary patient other than one who is a patient only for purposes of observation. And for possessing them, there is also no state permit required. So you don't, if you possess a gun, you don't have to show an officer of law that you have some sort of permit. And lastly, uh, laws in regards to carrying a concealed firearm, um, you must be 21 or older to even apply for this, and you have to have no convicted crimes on your record, um, which is kind of weird because if you're a juvenile and say you committed a felony as a juvenile and you want to purchase a handgun or a firearm when you're 21 that's not expunged, you're not technically convicted of that charge. You're found true. It's, I don't know, it's different. It's, I think it's to protect the juvenile from later repercussions. But that's something where they can deny you of that, but it's it's not likely, especially if you get expunged. So in case any of you guys have any of your records, but um, also a training class is required to earn a CCW permit, which is carry a concealed weapon permit. And according to Buckeye Firearms Associations, without a CCW license, it is illegal to carry any firearm concealed, and it's a felonious action. Um, when uh, obtaining your CCW, a person must fill out forms that lead to a lengthy background check that also goes to Washington, D.C., the J. Edgar Hoover Building, which is the FBI headquarters. And these forms ask a variety of questions ranging from 
being a citizen of the United States to being a, a ex felon or convict, whichever it may be. And also, when if any of these requirements on the form are broken or not followed, then it will be illegal for that person to carry a concealed firearm. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine states, Ohio and other states agree to respect each other's concealed carry laws and recognize each other's permit holders. There's a, which basically is a reciprocity act agreement type thing where other states, if you have a, your CCW in Ohio, other states will respect that and allow you to carry in their state also, but not all states agree with that and don't follow that, it just depends. And in conclusion, today we've covered multiple laws for purchasing, possession, and carrying firearms, and I hope if you are looking into purchasing or possessing or carrying a firearm, these laws help you know and give you a better idea of how to do that. So, thank you. Thank you.